In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the drive belt on this style of snapper push mower. It's not a very difficult job, and I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you suspect you have a bad belt is to remove this plastic cover. Then you can get a look at everything and kind of see what's going on. Now if you don't have a lift or an easy way to get underneath the mower, you're going to want to turn the mower on its side is the easiest thing that you can do. However, you don't just want to turn the mower on its side, you need to take some steps first. I'm going to link to a video that I made about this very subject. So if you look right through here, you can kind of see the belt. I can see that this belt is not broken and it's just loose, okay? So if you have someone engage your belt, you can kind of feel it and tell, you know, if it's real loose. It doesn't need to be real tight, uh, but it shouldn't be real loose either. So you can see through here, you can definitely see if your belt is broken, uh, but you can also see if it's loose or not. But uh, what we need to do is take that cover off like I was saying. So there's uh, two screws there that hold it on from underneath. And let me show you where those are at. All right, so to get that plastic cover off, it's only two bolts down here. We have one right here. See that? It's a T10, a Torx 10. And we have another one down here. Now this one down here is a little harder to see. It's just above the transmission, as you can see right here. And it's a Torx 10 as well. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, uh, but somebody has changed that to a Phillips screw head. So uh, something happened to the original screw and they put that one in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two screws and then flip the mower back over and uh, we'll get a look at the uh, belt. Got the two screws out. That just comes right off. Looks like the muffler has done a number on that right there. All right, so we have a belt guard right here. So all we have to do is uh, loosen these two screws. Let me give you a close-up. So these are just a 5 16 No problem. Easy as pie. So let's, uh, we're going to pull the belt off from the bottom. So we do have to loosen these two belt guards. We're back on the bottom side here, obviously. You don't have to take those out, just loosen them. And there you go. Here's our new belt. I will post the part number in the description. Just feed it back up through there like so. So it comes out the top, and then I'll tighten our belt guards back down on there. And we'll just bring our new belt around here and put the belt guard back. Careful not to over tighten these because that is threading into plastic. All right, let's activate our belt from up top and let's see what it looks like. Looks like it's working great. And we'll just put our cover back on here very carefully. 
just like so. And I'm going to flip this back over and put the two screws back in underneath. I don't think I need to show that. You get the idea. So that's how you're going to replace the belt on this snapper push mower. Okay, thanks for watching.